the ABC can reveal the Brisbane City Council struck a deal to sell a designated parkland to a businessman who's a significant donor to the LNP. The multi-million dollar contract needed state government approval as there was no public tender or auction. But now the state has blocked the sale, despite the Lord Mayor saying it was a win for ratepayers. Mark Willisey has this exclusive report. With its scattering of shipping containers and gravel piles, it hardly looks like a future park. Under the city plan, this 8,500 square metre block near the airport at Nunda is designated public parkland. But the ABC has obtained this signed contract between the Brisbane City Council and a company called Nudgee Capital Investments, revealing a deal to sell a land for $3.3 million. Well, look, there was a half a million dollars of public benefit in this for the ratepayers. The Lord Mayor says the buyer, Nudgee Capital Investments, was prepared to pay well over the market value. This man, Boone Tan, is a director and shareholder of Nudgee Capital. Graham Quirk says Dr Tan approached him last year about buying the designated parkland because he wanted to expand his adjoining car rental business. Well, we were aware he was a donor, but this was a matter of public interest. A successful businessman, Dr Tan and his companies donated more than $50,000 to the Liberal National Party last financial year. He's told the ABC the $3.3 million offer was made through proper channels and is not unusual. This cheque for $363,000 was later accepted as a deposit by council. Well, this land is owned by the ratepayers. That's why it's important. And, uh, you know, when the details of the transaction are made known, there are serious questions of Graham Quirk. For the deal to go through without public tender or auction, Brisbane City Council applied for a ministerial exemption from the State Act. In its application, Council declared that no councillor stood to benefit from the sale. They actually signed the form saying there was no potential conflict of interest, even though this, uh, the buyer was a long-term donor to the LNP. The ABC can reveal that Deputy Premier and Local Government Minister Jackie Trad vetoed the deal last Friday. Her department saying that council had failed to provide sufficient evidence to support its case that the sale should go ahead without public tender or auction. The Lord Mayor accuses the state Labor government of playing politics, saying the timing of the veto just three weeks out from the Brisbane City Council elections seems strange. Mark Willisey, ABC News, Brisbane.